Hey guys, I hope you are all well. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and today I am doing a video that I always try and do once a year and it's my updated handbag collection. Now, my handbag collection has changed quite a lot. I have actually got rid of quite a few bags recently um, and also I feel like I've got quite a lot of new ones this year. Um, so I definitely feel like it's going to be very different to last year's. I'll link last year's below so you can kind of see how it's changed but I definitely think it's changed quite a lot a significant amount um both with like coming and going um but anyway so today's video i'm going to be talking about my handbag collection as you said um and the first handbag i want to show you is uh, the newest one that i've added to my collection and it was a very generous gift from the brand look 3m um i hope i said it right i'll link it below and they are a new website um, that sell luxury items and because they are new and they are currently building their reputation and their kind of reviews and everything, they have got some amazing prices. So they're kind of at a point where they're not making a lot of um, commission on their sales or um, profit margins because they really want to get the reviews and get the trust and everything so it's a really great time to start buying from them they have a lot of kind of one-off pieces and individual pieces and then some items they have more stock behind and the piece I have got is this Jacobus bag which I have wanted for ages I think it's called the Lichiquito um, and I've wanted this bag for ages and I've been so torn on sizes but this is the perfect size I think for me because I can fit everything I need in it um, my phone keys purse I know people are going to be like you're having a baby soon it's not practical but to me I feel like I'm going to have my bag that's got all my baby stuff in it on the pram or on my shoulder and then I'll have a bag with like my things that I need to get easily and that like is cute with my outfit on crossbody or whatever um, and this has got a crossbody strap um, so it's ideal um, and also like I think people don't realise that this is like my life like literally whenever I go to London or I used to go to London I would take a bag like this because it went cute with my outfit but then I would have a tote bag with like my laptop, a change of clothes, everything that I needed, like my makeup, everything I needed for the day and um, so I'm used to having, I'm a double bag kind of gal um, and so I definitely will still be using all of my lovely bags even when I'm a mum, um, don't have to be super practical all the time but the smaller sizes for me were just too small like I need to be able to fit some things in and like I just think that there's a point where it becomes a bit ridiculous in my personal opinion but you can fit so much in here it opens right up um, and it comes with it's got all the tags and everything in it um, and it comes with this crossbody strap which is easily attachable um, and what I love about it too is that you can't see it attaches from the sides and from the front you can't see that so it looks really nice without the strap too because I feel like some bags that have crossbody straps they look weird when they don't have the crossbody strap because they've got the bits like sticking up um, so I like the fact that you can't see that detail when the strap isn't on. And just to go back to Luxury M, um, because obviously they kindly gifted me this bag, um, and I just wanted to say that it is 100% genuine, this bag, and they do offer 100% money back guarantee. So if you are like worried about, because loads of people were messaging me on Instagram because the prices are so good, but like I said, um, I did ask the brand about that because obviously they are really cheap and people are obviously going to be wary when you see something so cheap and it's designer. And they have confirmed to me that it's because they are building up their trust pilot kind of trying to get reviews and things. So they are building trust for the website and then they'll put the prices up once they kind of have that. So it's a really good time to buy from them now. But they do offer 100% money back guarantee. So if you are concerned about it, then that's really good to know. So I started with my most recent and I did actually get another new bag and it's one that I've wanted for a while but I'm going to be a tease and share that at the end because what I'm going to do now is go right to the beginning to the first bag I got and then I'm going to talk you through to the bag that I is my most recent and I'll just kind of tell you like how I got the bag I'm going to be super open as I was with that other bag if anything was gifted to me um, and like why I bought the bag why it's still in my collection and that kind of thing so the first designer bag I ever got was this Chloe 
Faye bag and I wanted the Chloe Faye for so long. I haven't actually used this bag in quite some time but I would never get rid of it because I, I see it as such a classic wardrobe staple. Like honestly I don't think this style will ever go out of style. <laughs> Um, to me it is a classic and it's really handy like over the shoulder bag you can fit so much in it um, so I definitely I, I don't think I get rid of it anyway because it's like got meaning to me but I equally just don't think I would get rid of it because I think it's such a great bag um, and I actually paid absolutely through the nose for this I got it in Bangkok I saved money for a designer bag and then me and Jack went traveling for three months and before we went traveling I was gonna buy a bag and then I was like if I buy a bag now I'm going to leave it at home because I was living with my parents at the time and my sister's going to use that bag the whole time that I'm away so I was like I'm not buying a bag basically for my sister so I was like not, I'll wait till I get back from travelling um, and like I loved travelling but by the end of it I was like I am ready to be a normal human being again <laughs> and enter society and um, basically when we were in Bangkok and they have these like huge luxury shopping malls and they had like all the designers and I saw this bag and I was like, I really want it. And I hadn't done my research on how much it normally is. And I think I paid an extra 500 pounds to the price. I literally, yeah, so stupid. And I thought it would be cheaper because of duty free and stuff. But then obviously I was also super naive in the fact that it's a European brand. So obviously buying it in Asia is not a great idea. Um, but anyway, I paid a lot of money, but then I was like, it's nowhere else, it's a really rare colour, and then like two months later they were like, it's really popular, so we're going to add it into a uh, like, um, core collection of colours, and I was like, great, so I have no excuse as to why I spent that much money. Anyway, you live and you learn, and it's a funny story now, wasn't funny at the time, um, but this is like my baby. Then I think the next one I got was my Louis Vuitton, um, the one that I, like that's still in my collection I mean, um, and I got this um, when, so I like to buy things, so this is why as well I don't mind about the other one, is I like to buy things that have like meaning, like when it's an occasion rather than just buying something for the sake because I want to want to buy it. Um, so I like to buy things to be like it reminds me of the occasion. It just makes me feel a bit better about the money that I spent. Um, so I actually had been looking at this for a while, and then I got invited on a press trip with the Cayman Island Tourism Board, which was like a major moment for me. It was like one of my first press trips. It was incredible, and I'd saved the money, and I just happened to go into Louis Vuitton at Heathrow Airport, Terminal 5, and they had this bag they didn't actually have the black which is the one that i wanted but i saw this color which i'd never seen before with like the mocha and i feel like it goes really well with the louis vuitton print um, and i love louis vuitton but i was not a big fan of the leather handles so i loved the fact that this has got the um chain strap and it's a really nice comfortable strap and it's really lightweight bag too um and i actually was i found this a bit annoying um so i went in to the store on bond street just to be like can i exchange it because this is annoying um though it's just because where my arm hits it sometimes it would like open um though it's not done that in ages now but when i first got it, it was happening all the time um so i asked the woman if i could exchange it and they like sent me upstairs to this woman in an office and she was like don't exchange it she was like you can if you want but it's going to be a black one and she said i've never seen that color before it's really rare so i would not recommend exchanging it and i've actually had so many people ask to buy this off of me on instagram and stuff because it is it just seems to be really rare but i mean i only got it because it didn't have the one that i wanted at the time um so yeah it was just a really lucky find but i'm so glad that i got this color as well because i just feel like it really goes with my style um and i don't i don't actually wear this one as much as i should um but it's just a bag i don't think i would ever get rid of because it's just such a classic so the next bag i got is a little gucci marmont um i think it's called a wallet on a chain i'm not really sure it's like a mini bag um and i got this I remember it was a day, I'd gone in with my sister like a couple of weeks before and seen it and really liked it um, in the store. And I, I just, it's quite rare, well it is rare now because it's it was a limited edition collection with the bugs on it. And they had it on in like the backpack and like all the different Marmont styles. 
but I just felt like it worked perfectly on this style um like the way I don't know I just felt like it was perfect and I basically couldn't stop thinking about it in the end I decided I was gonna get it um, and I literally got it in between meetings when I was in London. It was like the craziest time. Um, but I love this bag so much. I've worn it to death. It's really good. I think I've got a video on different ways to wear it. I've got videos of like unboxing and way to wear and reviews on quite a few of these bags. So I'll link them all below. Um, but you can wear this as a bum bag. That's like my most worn way to wear it. Or you can wear it as a over the shoulder, cross body. Like it's just a really great evening bag. My phone fits in there which is the main thing. And then like a lipstick and a card. Um, it's kind of like an evening bag. But yeah it's super special and I love this one. I think this is like one of my own. Oh no I have got another Gucci bag. I thought it was my only one. Then the next bag I got was an, another kind of evening-y bag. And it's another one that I, I kind of saw this on Instagram and saw it on Carlage Vintage, which is one of my favourites. And I couldn't stop thinking about this bag. Um, and it was like £400, um, which is quite affordable for a designer bag. And like, when you look at how ornate and special it is, because it's pearls, you would expect this bag, if you were buying it from somewhere like Gucci or Dolce & Gabbana, like the kind of brands that would do this sort of bag, it would be thousands. It would be like a special piece. Um, so yeah, I think it's quite a good price. They bring it out in like different colours every year, but the cream is always there, it's such a classic. Um, I actually waited way too long to think about it and then it sold out, um, but then it came back in stock, so I snapped it up and because I have that alert on, I always still get emails like years later of it coming back in and out of stock all the time, so it's still very popular. Um, and I just think it's beautiful, like it's the sort of bag that I take if I'm going to a wedding um, or like if I'm going for like a nice dinner. Also like even if I'm just like wearing jeans and a jumper, I'll put some like little mini heels on and this and it just kind of instantly lifts the outfit. So I love this bag so much, it's definitely one that I've worn a ton. And the next bag that I picked up was this Gucci one, I think it was this one. Um, and I got this as a treat to myself because I had, basically I was like, where in blogging there's a, a conference with the, you know how I have affiliate links, so um, the people who do that are Reward Style, and you might have heard of them, they do like to know it and stuff as well, and basically for their like top sellers or like top people in the company or like people who have got promise, they um, take to a conference um, or you, like, you can pay for tickets to go if you're in America I think um, but obviously people wouldn't pay for a ticket and fly all the way across the world from the UK to America because it's in Texas and they pick like probably like 10 people maximum a year to pay to fly them over and they pay for your flights and accommodation and stuff and they took me which was like such a huge deal for me um, and I also at the same time got invited to the Revolve Festival and like it's always been since I started it was something that I really wanted um, was to like work with Revolve and like go to a Revolve event so I always saw all the Revolve around the world and the girls and just thought that was so cool so both of those things like, I managed to combine into one trip um, and I basically was just like living my best life and I felt like I'd achieved so much career wise so I was like I'm going to treat myself to a bag to take on the trip and I got this one and I love this bag so much. It is such a classic. Honestly, it's so timeless. It goes with everything, like the neutral colours. Um, it's got a really nice light chain. Uh, you can wear it crossbody, over the shoulder. It looks great, like casual, smart, um, fancy. Like I've worn it in all different ways. And it's just one of my absolute favourites. And then the next one I got was my baby girl, Chanel. So this was my first Chanel bag. And uh, when I got it, I thought it would be my only Chanel bag because it was like such a huge achievement to save for it. I hadn't actually saved when I bought it. So I went to Paris on a trip with my sisters and I was like maybe like £500 out from my um, savings goal because I was saving for this bag. And we went to the Rue Gambon store, which is the, I think it's the first store that didn't just sell hats that Chanel opened. Um, so it's like a really special store. They have like all white packaging, whereas every other Chanel is all black. Uh, and it's just like the birthplace of Chanel. Very special. And I just was like, do you know what? I want to like remember this trip and 
get this bag in a special one. So again, I think I paid like maybe £400 more. Um, no, maybe it wasn't 400 Anyway, it wasn't cheaper. It was around either the same or like a bit more. Um, but I wanted to remember being in Paris and have that memory. You guys probably think I'm absolutely insane. Um, but yeah, so this is a classic wrap. I got it in the medium and I got it in the uh, lambskin. I have got a video about it when I unboxed it and about purchasing it. So like I kind of go into detail about why I picked those things then. Um, so I won't go into it much, but yeah, it's a really great bag. I actually use this all the time and then I stopped using it because I noticed I'd scuffed it a bit because it is a lambskin. Um, but I really should use this more and I have started to use it more and I promised myself that like when we're out of lockdown, I'm gonna use it more. And I think this was the next one I got, which was another Chanel. I think I it, there was quite a big time gap and I did get other bags, but I've got rid of those bags since. Um, so this is like a really special Chanel bag. As you can see, it's like limited edition from a special collection, like a seasonal one. Um, and literally, this is hilarious. When I was leaving the store, with that Chanel, I spotted this new shape, the Gabrielle, because it was a really new shape then, um, in the denim, and I was like, oh my god, I love that bag so much, but I was like, I can't, like, even think about it, I've just bought a Chanel bag, like, I'm probably never going to be able to afford a Chanel bag again, um, and then, like, six months to a year later, I was, like, still thinking about that bag, and I went to go and ask about it, and obviously they were like, no, that was seasonal, and it's gone now, long gone, um, and I was like, oh, okay, and then I was like, always, literally, I went through a phase, and like, thank God I've come out of that now, because it was dangerous, <laughs> of browsing the Chanel website in like, the new inn, like, weekly, and I spotted this, and I rang around all the stores and like, found out when the collection was going to drop, um, and then after it had dropped, like, maybe a couple of weeks later, I went in to see, and I'd only seen it in the medium size, um, which I was like, ideally I wanted this size, because I feel like, don't you think that every bag has like an optimum size that it looks best in? So I always think that this is like this size, uh, obviously that's why I got it. Um, but I saw the medium and I was like, I'll pay, I'll get the medium because I like the bag and I want it. Um, and then when I went in, they were like, do you want the medium or the small? And I was like, oh, okay, well I didn't realise the small existed, so I, I want the small. And they were like, oh, there's only one in Heathrow Airport and one in Manchester. And I was like, oh, are you kidding me? So I basically rang up Jack and was like, do you fancy a weekend in Manchester? <laughs> we could go for like, a lovely weekend, go and see Tom and Rosie, our friends. Um, and then he was like, what is your angle? And then I told him and he was like, yeah, sure, let's go. Um, so we went, we got the bag. It was amazing. Um, so yes. Literally have like a story for every bag um, But it's a really great bag You can fit so much in it I love that it's got all the mixed hardware too It's got like gold, oxidised silver I think it's called And like bright silver And it's got all the different chains You can wear it um, over the shoulder You can wear it cross body You can wear it with like two straps like this um, And then you can also wear it like long cross body or long over the shoulder though that is really long um so yeah there's like loads of different ways to wear it and it's just such a gorgeous bag and i mean i haven't used this a lot but like jack said the other day he was like you don't want to use that bag a lot because it is like almost a collector piece um i haven't really seen anyone there's one person that we've seen um there was a man was wearing it a man in the casino in Melbourne when we were in Australia. That's the only time I've ever seen anyone else with this bag. Um, so yeah, it's safe to say it's quite rare. Um, and I'll link all of these bags below, like where you can buy them. I'll try and find them on like secondhand selling sites and stuff. So the next bag I got was this Prada, which Jack actually got me as a Christmas present. Um, and he doesn't normally splash out that much for my um, Christmas presents. So I was really surprised. But um, basically, yeah, we had like a budget of like £200. And the year before, he bought me a travel neck pillow. So it's safe to say I didn't have high expectations at all. And then I opened this and was like, what? Like, since when did you buy me designer bags as Christmas presents? Um, but I love this bag so much. It's such a classic. I honestly feel like it is, even though it's like very the 90s style at the moment. It's like my most worn bag of 2020. It goes with everything. 
um, and they are such a good price point actually as well because I know how much it was because I was going to buy it myself um, which is obviously where he got the idea um, but it was like around £500 and I did really want it by the way the only reason I didn't buy it myself is because me and my sister were arguing that day and I was like you are ruining new bag day I am not buying a new bag on a day when I'm not in a good mood um, so I didn't buy it but then Jack got me it um, but yeah, it's a really great bag, fits so much in it, it's like really hard wearing too because it's like nylon, great for packing, um, it just goes with everything, it's a great bag. I'd actually be tempted to get this in black or something as well. And the next one I got is this little Chloe and this was uh, not a gift, I had a gift voucher for Bista Village because I was working with them and um, so they gave me a voucher and I chose to spend it on this and I think I had to put a bit of my own money towards it too um, I, but I put less than 100 on my own money so it was quite a uh, substantial voucher towards it um, and I was obsessed with this bag I really, I went thinking I want to get a Chloe C bag um, and then there it was and we actually went like a few weeks to a month before lockdown and it was when everywhere was really quiet like people were really cautious about coronavirus i'd been so cautious so i don't know why i went to be honest but i just thought hand sanitize and be safe and i just literally cannot resist a visit to mr village i've been during the pandemic too like i this is one thing i'm like i can't go to sainsbury's it's too dangerous but offer me to go to mr village and i'm there um but yeah i love this bag so much and what I was saying is, we went there and the stock was incredible. Don't know if it's because it wasn't busy or what, but it was honestly incredible. And I asked them what colours they had in this. They literally opened a drawer. It was like a, a rainbow of colours. They had every colour. And I love the khaki. I just think khaki is such a classic. Goes with everything. And um, so this is a colour that I got, obviously. And then... I spied that this season it came back into stock on like the main collection on Net Porter and um, Chloe and like all the sites. So I got it for about six, or was it 800? Between six and 800 pounds, I can't remember now, was one of those. Uh, and then it went back online for like 1,200 pounds. So I was like, that's amazing. Um, so yeah. Definitely always worth checking Vista Village, especially for Chloe. They have the best Chloe collection. Then the next bag I got was another gift from Jack. And honestly, he spoiled me. So it was my 30th birthday and he bought me the Loewe um, basket bag. I have wanted this bag for ages. Um, I, I feel like I haven't mentioned it to him though. So he kind of like went out on his own and did really well on this one. And he got me the biggest size, which is actually so good because now I'm going to be a mum. This is going to be like my summer mum bag and be so practical, even though I just said I don't need practical bags because I'm a mum. But it will be. Um, and it's just so beautiful. I feel like a Loewe basket bag is so timeless. And like they just don't really go out of style they've been around for like three years now i don't see them going anywhere i love all the sizes and i love all the colors but i feel like the tan to me is like the classic then from having no loewe bags to having two the next bag i got was another loewe and this was another mr village trip so i can't remember how much this bag was or how much i paid for it but they did give me a voucher towards it um and they also had like 20% off. I don't know if it's because of the pandemic and everything, but they had like 20% off or, or maybe 10%. So I ended up paying 200 pounds of my own money for this. And it was such, it's such a great bag. Again, great mum bag, loads of space and pockets. Um, and I haven't actually used it. I've used it like twice, it's still got the tack on. Um, and yeah, it's like a green wool with Loewe print on it, so pretty. Um, and I just think oh, I'm going to get so much more out of it. I feel like it kind of looks a bit wintry because of the colours. But I feel like this will look really nice with summer dresses too. And I know that they bring it out every year in like linen and stuff. Which is really pretty as well. And it's more affordable because it's linen. Whereas this is wool. I think it's like more of a special with the print and stuff. Because um, I think when I looked the linen one was actually cheaper to buy new than this was from Vista Village. So yeah. Um, but really happy with that and it's gonna be a great mum bag and the next bag i got was my little stout and this is like a little mini bag it's such a classic again like it's i just love the shape of it it ha kind of has Bottega vibes for me but it's stout so it's way more affordable and i just love like the tan suede so classic 
um, and it's just the cutest little mini bag but it also comes with a crossbody strap again it's got those little hooks tucked away and it looks really nice both crossbody and as hand held so it kind of be like a bit more dressy and you can also get it a bit of a bigger size which goes over your shoulder um, and I've seen Megan Ellaby has that in red leather because they do it in leather as well and that's really nice um, but I just love a mini bag so and I think crossbody is going to be really handy for being a mum too um, and yeah so I've got this this is actually a kind gift from Farfetch because I was working with them and I have used this so much over winter and I think I'll use it in summer too because I just think it's gonna look so cute with like little summer floaty dresses and like pastels it's gonna be so pretty then my one of my most recent bags I've got one more then I've got to reveal my new one um, is this Balenciaga bag and this is the hourglass bag and I was thinking about this for a while this again was a very 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 generous gift from Farfetch like probably the most generous designer gift I've ever been given um, and I love this so much it does come with a mock croc too which I was thinking might have been more suitable for me because I am clumsy but actually I've used this non-stop since I got it like literally non-stop if you follow me on Instagram every outfit is with this bag and it's got no scratches whatsoever on it even on the bottom like put it on the floor and all sorts so it's actually a really hard wearing bag and you can fit so much in there and as I said, I've worn it non-stop. It goes with every outfit. Have done a review and like ways to wear. So I'll link that below too. But this is like my favourite bag at the moment. Then finally, we reveal my other new bag. Um, and it is from Prada. And it's one that I've wanted for a while. And it's the new Prada Clio bag. I am thinking of doing a review on this. So let me know if you guys want to see that. Um, it's just the most beautiful bag. It's like this brushed leather. Um, I really love the size of it. It kind of reminds me of my Prada bag that Jack got me that I wear all the time. And this was also a very generous gift from Farfetch. So Farfetch are like spoiling me at the moment. Um, but yeah, it's quite a thin bag. So it's not like the most practical in terms of like what you'll get in but if you've got thin stuff and a lot of it like it's quite big <laughs> i wanted this one i feel like the light is really shining on it but i wanted this one so mad it's like brushed leather it's called i don't know if that means patent because it's kind of like painted but it's not shiny um but yeah it's such a lovely bag i was thinking of doing a video about this with like a review so let me know if you want to see that and also one about the jackamoose or if there's any other bags in my collection that you want to see like a review on um, but yeah, I really, really, really wanted this and I feel like it's kind of got the same vibes as this one. It's like the more kind of grown up, it's like the mummy version. <laughs> not mummy as in I'm a mum, but like the mummy and the baby. Um, not that I won't use this one because I still love that. But yeah, I feel like it's kind of got that look to it and yes, very happy with this. I love it so much. It comes in so many different colours too. I love the pale mint green um, I was actually going to get the mint green with a flap on but it was sold out so I was like oh do I wait and then I saw the white and was like actually white's probably way more classic um, so I decided to get white in the end rather than the mint green but yeah they do it with like a flap mint green, white, pink black, loads of different colours so I'll link a few below so that is all of my handbags I hope that you guys enjoyed this video I actually already filmed this once and then my stupid brain didn't break record for like half of the video um so i had to refilm it and before when i filmed i had like twice as many bags i swear i just sold for one five bags um so i like did the video and then afterwards i was like i've got too many bags and then i sold five um and with the money i'm thinking of putting it towards another bag because i feel like it's weird to like sell luxury and then not buy more with it because otherwise literally i just end up spending it all on like cream eggs and dominoes and then being like where does that money go like, i have nothing to show for it so i'm definitely gonna put it towards something else i'm deciding between either the dior i'll put a picture in little mini tote which i really want or um maybe uh, another chanel bag like the classic flap in caramel or i really like the trendy bag um so i'm like torn um but yeah i would love to hear what you guys think i should get next um but anyway thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you guys next time bye